Hi guys. So for today's reading, we are going to be looking into what the gossip is on you and by who. We have three piles today. One, two, three. Take a moment to get in touch with your intuition and your higher self and pick the pile that you feel most drawn to. And if you guys enjoy this reading, it would be awesome if you could like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that super thanks button, leave a donation or a timestamp. All those things help me out so much more than you guys know. Thank you so much for that. And I really hope you guys enjoy this reading. Let's get started with pile one. Yeah. Pile one. Let's see what's going on here. People could definitely be talking about how different you are. For some of you, people could be talking about your sexuality as well. Um, people may be talking about your interests and how your interests are very different from most people. You could be somebody who enjoys watching like serial killer documentaries. You could be somebody who enjoys the stranger things in life in general. You may even really enjoy exploring the human mind, things like that. You are definitely involved in divination, spirituality. Um, freak show, the show Freak Show is coming to mind too now. <clears throat> People could also be talking about how athletic you are, um, how different your hair is for a lot of you, things like that. So we're going to leave these ones right here for a minute and we're going to grab these. Capricorn, Ambitious, Scorpio, Aries, Cancer, Libra. This could definitely be family of yours. This could also be in-laws of yours. Um, there could be a sibling of yours as well. There's definitely secrets that people are talking about. Um, mysteries that people are talking about. People may be trying to figure out what you got going on, things like that. They may not know for sure what you got going on because you may be guarding it a bit. You are definitely a caretaker, a lover, a nurturer. Um, you may be very sensitive and emotional, so people could be talking about that as well. There may be a lot of fights or drama or chaos that you've had to deal with. There could be something to do with the law as well or with court that you could be dealing with. There could even be something to do with people who may have addictions that you could be dealing with as well. It feels like there's a lot of different things in this pile. There must be a lot of people that are going to be watching this one more than normal because there's a lot of variances in there. Oh, first we're going to do these letters. B, L, K, I'll be right back. Um, the movie Scream just came to mind when I was thinking of that because he's like... Oh, you never say that. That's the worst thing you can say in a horror movie. I'll be back. And then he never comes back. <laughs> B-L-K-H-V-K-Z-P-U-L-Pull-Hulk-Z-P-U-L-Pull-Hulk-Z-P-U-L-Pull-Hulk-Z-P-U-L-Pull-Hulk-Z-P-U-L-Pull-Hul
And if you don't, then somebody wants you to be being seen in this light so that they could play the crazy card in some way to keep the attention off of themselves. You are very connected and in tune with what's real and what's right. You never hesitate to stand up for what's right, which probably comes from a lot of going through this. Even if you are not currently experiencing that, you have been through that, and that's what caused you to be who you are today, so never hate that part of yourself. Your passion is so fiery and it's amazing to watch. You believe in yourself and you believe in others. You never judge. You guide and inspire from a place of love. You are very giving and pure. You care deeply for all of life. You help others whenever you can. You have a bleeding heart and that's an amazing thing in this hold card uh, cold hard world. Always keep your hope and belief alive. So you could be somebody that stumbles over your words occasionally as well. And if you're not judging others, then you shouldn't be judging yourself for any of this as well, if this is actually going on. And if this isn't going on and has gone on in the past, then you shouldn't be judging yourself for that either. Because you spend a lot of time not judging others, loving them, caring for them. Um, you are a safe place that people feel like they can go to, to talk to somebody and to feel like they are not being disgraced or judged and you really pay, make people feel comfortable, loved, cared about, things like that. So people are really discussing that. No carbon copy. Um, Cookie Cutter Bitches by Snow the Product comes to mind every time I see this poem too. You flutter around like a butterfly. Your faith and optimism does belie. The hardships we bear in this world we face, you learn at such a truly fast pace. Breaking out, transforming change, nothing escapes your wide range. Knowledge and wisdom you obtain, each and every cleansing rain. Remember now who you truly are. Lift up your standards and raise your bar. You have far too much to share, to allow small minds to make you care. Show every inch of the real you. Be the butterfly on view. You are different. Yes, it's true, but different is always beautiful too. So you could be somebody like me who has actually worked through all of those issues on your own without doctors, without medicine, without BS and crap like that. And you've had to work really hard at it. <clears throat> you've had to have a lot of self-discipline, a lot of willpower. You've had to really work at your emotions and being able to regulate them. And people are discussing how amazing you are. And you could be having a hard time expressing some of the things that you've gone through or been through in your past or some of the places that you came from or the things that you used to do or be. And people want you to know that it's okay to express those things because who you are now is a person who has worked through all of those issues and came out on top. The King of Cups, yes. Emotional maturity, definitely have a lot of emotional maturity. The stars and the world, you give people hope and belief that they can change their life too. That they can end the cycles in their life of being stuck in that dark, negative, moody, depressed energy and to come back to life again. You are very good at working with children as well. You are possibly somebody who's really good with art and artistic creations. You're definitely somebody who's very well regulated emotionally and you have a lot of hope inside of you for a bright, beautiful future. You've been doing a lot to end old cycles and to create new life within your world. There could be something about a motel as well or something about shopping here. We have the turtle and we have the dolphin. Slow and steady wins the race and you have been slowly working step by step every day to heal yourself, to grow, to change, to shift the way that you see things, to end the cycle of taking on the burdens of everyone around you and to really be able to stand in your light and to feel good about yourself and the world around you. You have definitely worked extremely hard to create these changes in your life and people are discussing how amazing this is and how beautiful you are, how intelligent you are, how knowledgeable you are, how playful and joyful you are, when in the past you may not have been. You may have been stuck in a world of dark, gray, and cloudy, hurt and pain, and now you are in this world of life and color and beauty. 
So that is what I got for you guys. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. I would absolutely love to hear what you guys had to say about it in the comments below, whether or not it resonates with you, what you might have going on, who these people could be. And if you guys did enjoy this reading, remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, leave a timestamp, a donation, hit that super thanks button. All those things help me out so much. You could also check out my other channel, which is where this poem is located, D's Storytime. There's a link for it in the description box below if you want to be able to find that poem again or if you want to be able to find some other poems a lot of them have to do with mental health as well and i hope you guys did enjoy this and i hope you have a beautiful night or day whatever it is wherever you are when you're watching bye bye guys pile two for you guys <clears throat> let's see what the gossip is on you by who by who really didn't play a factor in pile one oddly i just realized that but let's see who the or what gossip is going on about you and by who? Okay, kitty. Sorry, but no. We have Aquarius. We have Taurus. We have Aries. You're definitely very highly protected. People may be discussing how highly protected you are. People could also be discussing um, how open-minded you are, how non-judgmental you are, how um, stubborn you can be at times. You may be somebody who likes to be right or likes to get the last word in. Um, you could be somebody who argues and fights a bit. You could be somebody who's very passionate about whatever it is that you believe in. You stand your ground. You definitely stand your ground in situations. This could be an ex or an ex um, friend, friends with benefits, um, something along those lines. This could definitely be um, a parent as well father, mother-in-law is the ones that are coming to mind most. Disposable. D. S. I. Dis. M. O. Money. Q. T. Monty. Y. Z. I think it's like dysomia. I don't know. Um, chewing loudly could be a thing. Maybe you really don't like when people chew loudly or uh, something like that. P, Z, body dysmorphia, G, G, M, L, Milton, Miley, G, O, C, cow, cod, call of duty, L, Claude, Claude Hoppers. Somebody could be discussing your shoes and how big your feet are. X, U, W, C, M, if you have big feet. Cow, Pow, Mo, Moira, Peter Pan and Wendy is coming to mind. Moira Angela Darling, Clown, Glow Up, Honor System. People may be talking about how you put them on the honor system and they may not have um, kept that or how you are somebody who is very honorable and they know that they can trust you could be part of what they're talking about as well. be something to do with going out in nature, spending time near a waterfall or a river, um, trees, truth about something that happened in the woods. People could be discussing that as well. Given to those we truly admire to protect from jealousy and harm. Like I said before, you are definitely heavily protected. People are discussing that as well. You could even have a loved one who passed over and is on the other side in the spiritual realm, making sure to take care of you and whatever you got going on. Sometimes a bird won't leave the nest unless you shove it out. So uh, there could be something to do with that as well. Finding your wings and believing in yourself to fly. So let's see what else we got. Same old story, never makes needed changes and always blames others for their problems. Martyr-like qualities. 
if you don't like being a doormat set boundaries so people could be talking about you not having any good boundaries people could be talking about how you bitch about things that other people have done to you but you allowed them to do it because you're somebody who gives people a chance you don't just you don't just turn away from people you give people a chance and there's nothing wrong with that um, if you are in that martyr energy where you're doing everything for everyone and bitching and complaining all the time about everything that you have to do and how nobody's ever there to do anything for you, then make sure that you are starting to set boundaries and not being a doormat to others. Make sure that you're saying no when you need to and make sure that you're asking for help when you need to. Let's see what else there is. You always know what's up. No one ever fools you, even if you play along at times. In the end, you knew and you were working to expose the fake. You are so real and I could never hope to love myself enough to remove this mask. So whoever is talking about you is very fake. They wear a mask everywhere they go. They cover up who they are because they don't feel like who they are is somebody that people would accept. And so they... They are trying to make it seem like you are this martyr, you are somebody who doesn't have any boundaries, you're somebody that um, gives in to everyone, things like that. But in reality, they know that you know what's up with these people, that no one fools you, that even if you play along at times or even if you know who they are, you also know there's another side to them, so maybe you're even just testing them on whether or not they're going to be the good portion of themselves or the bad things inside themselves. So that could be being discussed as well. A logical, analytical thinker, a leader in communication and makes plans very effectively. <clears throat> so you're very good with communication. You're somebody who's logical, rational, very intelligent, very smart, somebody who thinks a lot about a lot of things, um, good with communication. You plan very effectively. You're really good at taking care of things. Let's see what else there is here. Warrior queen. This is actually the most recent poem I put on my other channel, D Storytime, and if you want to be able to find it again, you can find the link in the description box for that, or and all my other poems are on there as well. I'm a woman who feels so deep. I'm a woman whose tears do weep. Even though it's shown to very few, I am a woman who's vulnerable too. I am a leader on a throne. These skills I worked hard to hone, but under the armor I still bleed. For all to see, my tears will be freed. I accept the feminine side of me. I take that leap to set me free. To those who come against me, I am not weak. Do not mistake these tears for someone weak. 42522. So you are a very sensitive, emotional, intuitive person, a very loving, kind, generous, empathetic person. But you are also not somebody that can be taken advantage of, stepped on, or crushed into the ground because you are not somebody who is weak. You are somebody who has a very thick skin. Um, you're somebody who isn't afraid to be yourself and who isn't afraid to express your emotions. And if you haven't been, it's time to start doing that now. Um, and whether you're a man or a woman, because it can be just as hard for either one to express their emotions. Everybody thinks it's harder for men, but you know what? After the independent women era, it's just as hard for women because we have just as much toxic masculinity shoved into us at a young age as men do. Or at least we did, because these days it's changing quite a bit. People aren't shoving that shit into people anymore. So anyway... This is what people are discussing is your leadership abilities, your skills, the fact that you cannot be played, you can't have one done to you that you don't know is coming, um, that you are somebody who's very good at communication, things like that, and you're very honest and open and who you really are. Six of Swords, Strength, and the Queen of Pentacles. You have had a massive amount of strength to be able to pull yourself up out of the darkness you, even when you've had darkness all around you, you have been able to find the light again and follow that light out of that hole. You are somebody who has a lot of self-respect, a lot of self-love. You care very deeply for you, and you, as a result, care very deeply for others. You're very concerned with people's health. You're very um, fertile, very abundant. You're very solid, loyal, stable, strong. You're somebody who's very honest. And you're somebody that people can really trust. You have a lot of discipline, a lot of willpower, a lot of emotional strength inside of you as well. The ability to not fall apart when things happen. You're somebody who's very good at planning. Once again, you're very good at planning. You are um, somebody who's very good at building things. You're good at building a support network around yourself as well. 
you are really good at leading people and you don't lead by force you don't lead by control you lead by example you are what you say you are and you are a very honest authentic open real person and you show others that it's okay to be themselves as well you really give people a lot of courage and a lot of strength you are also somebody people know that if they ever needed help you would be there in a heartbeat to help them because you're a very caring and loving and generous person so that is what I have for this pile and I really hope that you guys enjoyed this reading I would love to hear what you guys thought about it whether or not it resonated who these people could be and if you guys did enjoy this remember to hit the like share subscribe um, comment hit the super thanks leave a timestamp or a donation all those things are so greatly appreciated and I really couldn't do it without you guys so thank you so much for doing all those things and I hope you guys have a beautiful night or day whatever it is wherever you are when you're watching bye bye guys pile three let's see what the gossip is on you and by who so somebody that you cut off possibly is talking about you somebody that you've done a cord cutting session with or uh, somebody that cut you off possibly or somebody could be talking about um, a marriage that needs to end for some of you as well because we have Follow Me by Uncle Cracker. Follow me, everything is alright. I'll be the one to tuck you in that night. And if you want to leave, I can guarantee you won't find nobody else like me. Abracadabra B, I want to reach out and grab you. So somebody actually could be being set up in some way to be getting caught cheating for some of you. Um, because Abracadabra B was on a uh, half baked at the end when the cops were supposed to come running in when he said that, but they weren't <laughs> because they got distracted. So maybe you were supposed to show up for something, but you didn't because you got distracted or something like that could definitely be a factor here. Set these ones aside for a minute. Leo, generous. Virgo, Leo, Virgo. Wow, Virgo and Leo, twice on both of them. Um, could be a mother or a sister, could be a ex-partner could be a uh, ex-friends with benefits could be uh, a fling something like that somebody may be talking about you saying that you're a cheater in some sort of way or somebody could be talking about you saying that they wish that you would finalize your divorce if you haven't yet because they would like you to come with them um, and it could be that you've been separated for a long time for some of you, or you could still be with your partner. But uh, there could definitely be you leaving somebody for somebody else energy here. S, B, X, sexy, P, W, X, P. So there could be something with computers here too. W, Z, Y, R, boy, Roy. Poor boy. I'm just a poor boy in a poor or from a poor family. I'm just a poor boy from a poor family. Z Q Y. Now the song. I want to ride my bicycle. I want to ride my bike. Bicycle, bicycle. Queen could be having something to do with something here too. A Y W F Far Far Away Home. That's a good movie. N Y D Andy W Z I. Somebody could be afraid to finalize things because of the abuse that's happened in the situation they're leaving. Or because they feel like that other person has all the power. Wow, World of Warcraft. Yahweh. Fox. Foxy. 
And now Austin Powers is coming to mind because of Foxy Cleopatra, I think was her name. Soy. Sop. Simp. City. Sandy. Sandy from Greece is coming to mind now. So let's see what else we got here. <clears throat> Conceited and narcissistic, they love themselves and tear everyone else down. They can't stand anyone outshining them. People could be talking about your pride or ego as well, or your intelligence and how you think you're smarter than everyone. And you know what? There could actually even be people from your past that are trying to destroy your character so they come out looking like the good guy or at least not as bad as they are. If this is true, work on sharing the spotlight, taking less selfies, and remembering to think of others. If not, then it's probably someone with those traits that is saying it to cover their own asses. Damn straight. That's pretty much what I was just saying. Your hair is soft and amazing. It always seems to fall perfectly into place. People always seem to notice and try to touch it. Good at keeping secrets. Thank you for being a friend. Good advice and always there when needed. Is emotionally open and aware. So yeah, this is definitely whatever this bullshit is up here. Is somebody that's upset from the past that is trying to cover their own asses and is wanting people to see you in a bad light. But on the other side of the coin, there's only a few people saying that and I don't really think anybody's buying their bullshit anyway. Um, other people are talking about how you're really good at keeping secrets. You're always there as a friend. Um, the thing that's coming to mind right now is Thank you for being a friend. Travel down the road and back again. Your heart is true. You're a pal and a confidant. Thank you for being a friend. Um, it could definitely be roommates that are talking about you being a friend or just a good friend group that you've been friends with for a while, possibly even some, some family members as well. You're very emotionally open and aware. You're definitely aware of what's going on around you. You're very open. You are very good at talking to people and getting people to open up and be themselves. People feel very comfortable being themselves in front of you. And that could also be why you have those people talking trash about you because they may have been very open in front of you and they may have talked about things that they've never talked about with anybody else. And so now they don't want anybody to believe you even if you do say these things or they just want to butcher your character so nobody will want to have anything to do with you. So nobody ever finds out the truth about them in some sort of way. But like I said, I really feel like these are people that you've cut off and these are people that nobody is taking seriously anyway. Blessings are pouring in for your hard work. Let go of the outcome and allow things to unfold how they do. All is working out for you at all times, even the bad stuff. It leads you to where you are meant to go if you choose to follow it. You are on your way up and out of the darkness. As you leave behind the past, notice how you will be able to see how far you've come. You won't even, you won't even, uh, you don't even notice how far you've come, but you will be now. Things are coming out and all will be revealed. And it's coming out now. So will the way that you have handled everything. It is time for you to fully embrace that everything bad that has happened created you and you are fucking amazing. A diamond. A diamond is only created by pressure and time. And you're a fucking diamond, babe. Or man. You're a diamond. The magician. The knight of swords. The nine of pentacles. People are talking about how independent you are, how self-sufficient you are, how strong you are, how you're creating abundance for yourself. You may have made some moves that people thought were impulsive, but these moves have really paid off for you. You are somebody who's very honest as well. You're somebody who expresses yourself and your emotions. You could be a writer for some of you as well. You may write poetry. You may write books. Um, you may write a journal, something along those lines. You are definitely manifesting. You have all the tools, all the skills, all the knowledge, all the abilities necessary to be able to create the life that you want to create. And you are taking action to create that life. You are taking action to improve your intelligence, to learn, to grow. Um, you have good communication skills. You are somebody very emotional and intuitive. You're somebody very passionate and driven. And you're also somebody who is very strong and stable and grounded definitely somebody who can do things on your own if you have to. You don't need somebody holding your hand. You have a lot of self-respect. You have a lot of strength inside of you and you have a lot of self-love. The eagle. <clears throat> right when I flipped that over before I even saw the eagle, what popped in my mind was 
go your own way. So you are definitely somebody who does things your own way. And now the song that's coming to mind too is, I'm still standing after all this time. And so you are definitely somebody who has been through a lot and you have been able to overcome each and every obstacle that has come your way. People are talking about how strong you are, how much you've been able to overcome, how much you've had to deal with and how you had to deal with it alone because these people may have been successful at turning people against you initially, but now everything is coming out and people are seeing that everything that you've been working on and everything that you've been doing is for the greater good and the greater good of yourself, your family, your community. You've really been working very hard to create something for yourself and those that you love and it doesn't make you narcissistic to be able to take care of the things that you need to take care of for you so that you can stand strong on your own that's not called narcissism although people who are martyrs will call that narcissism there's a lot of people running around using the word narcissist for people that are taking care of themselves people that are loving themselves and people that are not about ready to get dragged into everybody's bullshit and drama so that could be it as well is you've just been focused on taking care of you so that you can take care of the people that you love to a greater extent as well you are definitely somebody very independent somebody who is very prone to leadership and somebody that people trust as well um, some people could think that you're a little bit sneaky devious deceptive things like that um, but I really feel like a lot of that is just their own things that they're projecting onto you because they feel like the only way that anybody could get to that level of success <clears throat> or that level of stability and, 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 and independence is by stepping on others. But that doesn't mean that's what you did either. So anyway, that is what I have for this pile. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. I would absolutely love to hear what you guys had to say about it in the comments below, whether or not it resonated, who these people could be, what you might be going through. And if you guys did enjoy this, remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that super thanks button, leave a donation or a timestamp. Um, check out my other channel, D Storytime. There's a link for it in the description box below. Do the same thing over there. All that stuff really helps me out, and I truly appreciate each and every one of you who are here to support me regularly. Thank you so much for that, and I hope you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye, guys.